Before we review the change, let's take a look at how Internet access for computers in Azure currently works. A virtual machine in Azure has multiple ways to connect to the Internet. Firewalls, public IPs, and load balancers, for example. These paths are evaluated in order. First is the next routing hop. If you have a firewall or network virtual appliance, traffic is routed to that device. Routing needs to be configured for this to work, and typically VNet peering is used to connect multiple VNets to a firewall VNet. Next, if a NAT gateway is attached to the subnet, that will be used to access the internet. Then, if the VM has a public IP address associated with it, that will be used. Next, if there's a standard public load balancer with an outbound rule defined, that's used. These three options use explicit source network address translation or SNAT. After that, if there's a load balancer with a rule that sets disable outbound SNAT to false, that's used next. And finally, if all these are evaluated and none apply, then default outbound access is used. Default outbound access uses an implicit IP address that belongs to Microsoft. The IP address is not static, it may change. Default outbound internet access is not recommended for production workloads. 